What's up everybody, Ben here, bringing you another Rank Up commentary. Wow, it's been a while. He says, dusting off the old commentary voice, like, Hi, how you doing? But yeah, this is level 48 to 49, a game of TDM on Pier 17, I believe. You'll have to excuse me, I'm scratching my eye because a fly has just flown into it. Ugh! You'll have to I'll have a random fit halfway through the commentary, just twitching like, I can't get it out! Um, <laughs> that's what she said. But yeah, totally inappropriate, but hey, that's Vintage Baron. So, hello to all my new subscribers and new friends I've added to the channel. Uh, if you could rate, comment, subscribe, that'd be grand. I just basically hope you enjoy the video and had a good time recently, because obviously it's been Halloween. Woo! You, you, you didn't see, but I did some spooky wiggle fingers as well. I'm totally masculine, not feminine whatsoever. <laughs> Wiggling my fingers and doing jazz hands every available opportunity. But um, yeah, hello L Tag. It's been a while since I've done any videos for the channel, apart from them weird promo ones I've been doing as well, which I do want to follow through, but I'll get around to that a bit later. Um, hello you. Stealth kill. Nice! Oh, it's been long overdue for saying that. But yeah, the reason I haven't uploaded many videos recently, um... Oh, it's a saga. Let me take you back many, many, many moons ago, or at least three weeks. But basically, I use my Turtle Beach headset to do commentaries and play games because it's cheaper than just going out and buying a separate mic. I mean, I know the quality might not be as good, but, you know, this is nothing MLG commentary-wise. You know, it's just a little side project. And, you know, having Turtle Beach just tackles that sort of two-in-one. Fail self-kill. Never mind. But anyway, Turtle Beach just broke on me. The mic broke. And I started going, no! Why can I not talk to my teammates? Granted, this is around the sort of Battlefield 3 time, Modern Warfare 2 resurgence time, because I'm playing a lot of that recently. Get ready for Modern, Warf Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare, sorry. Halloween, werewolves. <laughs> by day, normal battle. By night, savage war. Um, da -da 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 -da. But basically, mic broke, so I thought, you know, I need to get a new headset, obviously, or else I'm not going to be able to talk to anyone. And the main thing is to talk to my friends and, like, you know, do commentaries and stuff like that. So basically, went on eBay. In hindsight, really shouldn't have, but never mind. Went on eBay, looked for a new headset, found one for about 35 quid, you know. It's pretty cheap, considering you're getting about 60 quid around here. So I thought, you know, we'll go with it. Ordered them, took them two weeks, so originally it was one week to deliver it, but I thought, you know, maybe they were a bit busy, maybe the postal service is on strike, because they always seem to be now and then. Um, or maybe they could be occupying somewhere, that seems what everyone else has been doing at the moment. I don't fully understand the occupying thing, it just seems to be more of a trend recently than anything. I know there's, I think it's St. Paul's Cathedral that's having a lot of, I wouldn't say grief, but there's a lot of hassle because there's people protesting outside. And obviously it sort of stops, uh... Not necessarily finance, but people coming in and, like, donations and, like, funding for the church and the cathedral, even. Stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about it because I don't fully understand it. And if I keep talking about it, I'm going to get myself in a load of hot water. Anyway, headset. So they arrived two weeks later. I'm like, okay, slightly suspicious on delivery. Uh, but, um, ooh, stuff kill. Nicer. That's two. But basically, I thought, we'll let it go. Had a look at the packaging. Just wrapped in brown paper, which was slightly odd. Um, normally they come in like a big box or whatever. I mean, I had ordered Arkham City and I got the collector's edition, so you get the Batman statue. Um, terrible, terrible impressions. But basically that turned up and it came up in a massive box, like three times the size of the collector's edition. And there's no bubble wrap inside. And I'm like, ah, you know, you, half the time you open the packaging, it's like, oh, look, I've got my shiny, awesome, rare, super rare, uber, amazing thing. Oh, look, bubble wrap. But, um, <laughs> they just came with these, like, weird air pocket plastic things, and it's like, ah, disappointing. You can't pop those, because it scares, like, the cats next door. They're like, bang, wow. It's like, it's fine, it's just packaging. Wow. Um, yeah, we do have very, like, startled cats around here. It's like the, the, uh, prairie dog thing. Although everyone refers to it as a guinea pig. It's not a guinea pig, it's a prairie dog. Um, or a chipmunk. I'm sure it's not a chipmunk, either. But anyway, I'm probably wrong on that effect. You know, I don't know most things. I just sit here. This is why I did law degree. I don't need to be right or wrong. I could just argue to my heart's content until someone gets bored and walks off. So anyway, headsets. Must stay on track, honestly. So, brown packaging. Bit suspicious on the headsets. You know, not proper package. Thought, you know, maybe it's just budget cuts, stuff like that. Open the packaging. Okay, it's sellotaped together. 
alarm bells start to sort of chime in the background. Not full on clang, 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 but you know, sort of like, oh, hello, something's not quite right here. Had a look at the packaging itself, sat the tape together. Someone had sort of cleanly cut all the way around the plastic, like along the left side, along the top. Sort of really like a standing knife type thing, like a really sharp blade, so it's quite clean cut. And obviously this is sealed plastic, so obviously you have to take like a standing knife or something to it. I was like, okay, obviously someone's been in it, but you know, maybe it's quality control. Maybe they've just been checking like it actually works before they send it off. Uh, I had a look at the packaging. Oh, Atlantic Trade, hello. See, they probably do a better job than what these guys did. Um, had a look at packaging. Had a look inside at the mic itself. No little bubbly thing on the mic. So that was quite odd, you know. Um, no little bubbly thing. And also no little adapter that plugs it from your headset into the controller as well. And I'm slightly going, right, hang on, I've been taken for a ride here. So nothing strikes fear into a man's heart more than a strongly worded letter. So I'm slightly going, dear sir, I am deeply disappointed with your service. Your description of your product is grossly, grossly wrong. And it's because of this, because of that, and because of this. And I am deeply disappointed. So I would like a full refund. And he's like saying, oh no, we wouldn't tamper with it. Are you sure it's been tampered with? Am I sure it's been tampered with? Dude, you might as well have it in like big flashing lights saying, this is not what you ordered. Seriously. So I'm sitting there saying, no, because obviously it's been tampered with. The actual headset's missing. It's been swapped with a faulty one because obviously the mic doesn't work with it because they've given me a broken one. And he's, I sent him a picture, uh, not a picture, I've sent him an email saying I can send him pictures. Have I had a response for him? Have I, heck, mother fudger. So this is take, being taken up with the bigwigs at eBay, as long as they can understand my badly worded emails. <laughs> it's like, this is no good, me wants money, nows. It's like, oh, child of the internet, learn your grammar. But anyway, that's the saga, but I went out, got a pair of X. 12s now so I could do the commentaries and I can do the talking with my friends and the schweigen wagon so that's all good content wise on the channel I can only apologize so I've got in the vents they're in the vents they're in the vents um just without the headsets it's been really hard to bring myself around to the recording anything because there's no real purpose for it but I have done a load of promos and I am trying to follow those up so I am endeavoring to do an Arkham City type Riddler thing. I mean, I completed it once. Really good game. Definitely worth getting. GG. Um, so I've got new game plus unlock, so I could do the Riddler challenges then. Um, also, I do have Dark Souls, but that's quite a weird one to figure out commentary-wise, because um, it's a lot of going back and grinding and dying and dying and grinding, and it's like you don't... there's not a linear path. So... It's very hard to put a set direction on it, but I might figure out something. But I think the main thing is, I do have Battlefield 3. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Terrible impression of the theme. So I'm going to start doing some uh, commentaries, get some gameplays up of that. Today was friggin' immense. I sat there having a... I think it was a rush map. Uh, playing with GST Judas, sat there, rocket comes flying past their heads, there's planes flying in, crashing into buildings, there's guys spamming a tank, and it's like, ugh, you've been in that tank all along, so what do I do? Run up, plant some C4, destroy the tank, and then, um, oh, oh, can I just squeeze in here? Can I just get the stealth kill? No, you're not going to let me in? No, no, you're going to let me in here for the stealth kill, are you? Ah, uh, oh, thank you very much. Nice. So, throw some C4, destroy the tank, guy gets out of the tank, the same guy that's been spamming the tank for the whole, like, 15 million minutes that the game drags on for. Which isn't a bad thing, by the way. So he sits there, he gets out, he repairs his tank, crouches down. What do I do? Run behind, knife him. And it's like, oh, this is satisfying. Almost as much as that. And then I get his uh, dog tags, and I just sit there and teabag his corpse afterwards. It's not the most polite way of gaming, but at the end of the day, if you're going to sit there and spam the tank to your heart's content, you deal with the consequences, bro. Seriously. But yeah, definitely get some Battlefield 3 videos up as well. Um, obviously Modern Warfare 3 is coming out, so I am getting that. Because they're two different beasts as well. I might discuss this when I'm playing Battlefield and put some videos up of that. And I do have Rage as well, so that might be my next sort of walkthrough type thing as well. Oh, well played, sir. Golf clap for your L-Teg magic. 
Oh, wait, no, it wasn't an L tag. It was a grenade launcher, because obviously it's two different things, requiring two different levels of skill. Sarcasm sign. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you all had a good Halloween. I mean, I was at work and had Halloween parties in the evening, um, which was amazing. Went as an undead raver, got some photos taken of me, and it's like, whoop, 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 whoop. Um, <laughs> also, I was DJ, which was quite surprising. Granted, it only involved pressing shuffle on the iPod, but hey, it was pretty good at the end of the day. Classy way to finish a game, blow yourself up with C4, but that's Vintage Baron for you. But that's about it, really, so I'm just... Glad to be back online and back doing commentaries. Rate, comment, subscribe. That, like I said, I will get some more videos up now and then as well. But yeah, I'm just glad to be back, really, people. So brace yourself for the worst or the best. Depends on your outlook on life, whether you're half empty or half full glass person. But anyway, see you all later. Take care of yourselves.